I have two more filmmakers and camera people here for us for the Highwood South Film Festival. And tell us your name and the name of your movie. Uh, my name is David Love and uh, Connections of Cosplay. Okay, tell us, what's your movie about? Uh, it's a documentary about different um, cosplayers and prop builders um, in the uh, Birmingham area. Okay. Now, how did how did this film come about? Where did the idea come from? Um, well, this was kind of like my final thesis film for, uh, for college. Um, and I wanted to do something that was kind of close to my heart, which is uh, cosplay. Um, I've done a little bit myself, but I mostly just admire the art form that it is and the level of design and the level of just heart that people have for different TV shows, movies, ideas, anime, whatever, and they all come together, help each other out, and it's just a growing community that's all about being together and wanting to promote and help each other out. And that was just something I wanted to show to everyone um, in both Alabama and kind of a little bit in our country that this is here and this is something that's positive that people can enjoy and people can easily be a uh, part of. Okay, fantastic. So we have with us, now you were the director of photography for it? Uh, yeah. Okay, and your name? I'm Ben Johnson, and uh, me and David, we work together on a bunch of different movies. Uh, usually I help him direct, but this one he wanted to do on his own, but then uh, his previous camera operator uh, had to drop out, and so he called me up and he was like, hey, can you help me out? And I said, sure. So yeah. Okay. Now, how long did it take you to get this film together? I started um, about uh, a year ago uh, in January, um, and I did majority of the work uh, within the first semester, so it was January to February. Uh, then I took a little bit of a break from it. Um, I had completed it enough for my teacher, but I wanted to work on it just a little bit more, uh, really, really fine tune it before I really start sitting it to festivals. So it took about, probably about six months to shoot it and edit it and get it down to uh, what it is now. Now, it was for your thesis, you said, right? Yes. Okay, and is it completed and did you get the grading that you wanted? Oh, yeah, no, 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 it's, it, it's complete. Um, when I turned it in, I got the grading I wanted. Um, there was definitely some problems I dealt with, and so that's why it never got finished by the end of the semester, but my teacher understood, and she sympathized with me, and she just wanted some kind of final product. And I gave her a final product that was good, but it wasn't necessarily up to what I wanted. And so over the summer, I spent finishing up and fine-tuning it to where it was at the level that I wanted it to be. Okay, very good. And is it at the level you want to? Do you like the film? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> now tell us, for the people out there who are interested in the technical aspects, on what, what did you use for the shooting? Uh, we mostly just stuck to DSLRs, used a bunch of prime lenses, uh, your typical like three-point lighting interview setup. Okay. And did you also edit it, or who did the editing for it? He did most of the editing. Okay, and what did you edit with? Um, I used a... Um a little bit of um, Adobe Premiere, but I spend a majority of my time uh, using Final Cut Pro X. Okay, fantastic. And tell us the name of the movie again, and is it an opportunity for people to see it if they weren't able to be here today? Um, it is called Connections of Cosplay, and I will be uploading it to uh, YouTube and Vimeo probably in the next several months. Um, I'm waiting until it, it's done doing a uh, film festival cycle. And so there's a couple more festivals I'm about to enter it into, and I'm waiting until it's done with its festival before I put it online, but it will be online at some point. Now, are you both from Alabama? Yes, sir. Is this your first time here in Kentucky? Uh, yes. Well, we're great. Glary, glad that you are able to come here for this festival. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Yvonne, and I'm with? Matt Long. Matt, where are you from? I'm from Nortonville, Kentucky. Okay. Now, what got you into making films? Well, um, I was a, a pastor of a small church. just felt like that's what I needed to do, and so uh, I didn't own a video camera or anything, and so just dived right in and started making films, and uh, it's been 14 years ago now. Wow. And uh, we've made a lot of short films, and this is in this festival that we're here with now, we're actually uh, entered our first feature film okay. called The Red Resurrection, and it'll be playing the night at midnight and uh, it's actually a zombie film. A zombie film? Yes, yes. <laughs> Part of the apocalypse. Yeah. Huh? Yes, yes. The, the post-apocalyptic world and all that that entails. But it's actually about a cure for oh. zombies to bring them back oh. from uh, from the living dead. Okay. And so it's, it's a tale about this girl who gets cured 
she can remember everything she did as a zombie, so she has to struggle with her past and everything she did. And it's about not only them, not only her trying to get through all of that, but then also trying to survive in this new world she's come alive to. So trying to uh, to stay alive because they run into a lot of crazy characters. Now, did you write this yourself? Yeah. Well, yes, I wrote it. I had I directed it. I had to star in it, and then I ended up editing special effects, all that stuff, because you wear many hats when you're in the independent film uh, business. Yes, and I understand, too, you've been to the 48-hour film festival. You participated in that. Yeah, yeah, we've done that uh, actually for about, we did it for four years. Mm -hmm. uh, we participated in Louisville as well as Paducah, and um, it was it, that's so much fun. And any anybody that hasn't done that, that can, I would just encourage them to be a part of that, because you're, you're going to learn so much about film school, looking at videos and and uh, you know about how the, the filmmaking process process works. Mm -hmm. You can learn so much by watching videos and going even going to film school. But you learn what you really need to know by actually doing it. And so I just want to encourage these guys, whoever may be watching, if you feel like you want to be a filmmaker, just get out there and do it. You don't have to have the best equipment. You just if you got a cell phone. You can make a movie. You can make a movie. Yes, you can. Okay, can we expect you to come back to this one? Oh, yeah, it's been great so far, and okay. uh, just looking forward to see what the, the weekend holds for us. Okay, well, we wish you the best of luck with your filmmaking. All right, thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Thank you for having me. This is Javon, and I'm with? Chad Fuller. And Chad, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Western Kentucky, the Hopkinsville area. Okay, I know that area well. Right on. And your, your name? I'm Matt Green, and I'm from Greenville, Kentucky. Okay. I do not own the town, though, so I do. <laughs> Well, listen, you guys are here at the film festival. What are you doing? I know what, I know you guys are filmmakers. What's the name of your film? Our name, uh, the name of our film is In a Flash. It's a little short drama that we did, uh, Fuller and Green Productions. Uh, we're also here to uh, represent another film that we helped out on with Cindy Maples, who is a filmmaker here tonight, Ebola. Okay. We uh, worked on the production side of that one, so we're here to see two films, one that we did and one that we helped work on. So, okay. Now, what got you guys into filmmaking? Oh, gosh, that's a long story. Um, uh, I started off editing uh, and doing it commercially, and then I met with Chad here several years ago, and he was more the filmmaker than I was, and um, he really introduced me to the filmmaking part of it, and I thought, well, why edit everyone else's films when we can edit our own films? So uh, we started a few years back, and uh, this is our third movie together. Uh, uh, we did one called uh, The Switch, uh, Hell's Half Acre, and then uh, this one, which is In a Flash. It's a short, like he said, five-minute drama. Um, uh, we just put this one out just a couple weeks ago and we've already gotten a whole lot of selections off of it so we're just really excited about this project mm -hmm. um, hoping that we get better every year of course so uh, well, listen who does the writing uh I, well we both do uh, uh this one matt did the one before i did uh and then the next one you know we kind of take turns of what we do, we do yeah he, he writes one then i write one and he writes one uh, my dad uh, uh runs a little place called copper canyon ranch just outside of hopkinsville that a lot of it's a, like an old west town it's really cool a lot of films and video and people from nashville come up there to, to work on stuff up there so that's where i kind of got my foot in the door with acting and working on things like that that's where me and matt kind of met too okay. so. so did you guys have experience with the equipment or did you just jump into it head first or yeah well no we um, you know you got to learn somehow so <laughs> um, you know over the years we've gotten a lot better at it Chad is a is a professional photographer as well okay. so um, he, he knows the camera part of it very well um, again I'm, I'm more the editor if you will and he's got a great mind for framing pictures and He's an award-winning photographer, and that comes in real handy in the filmmaking because it's kind of the same idea. You want a great frame with great backgrounds in your shots, but the only difference is you, it's you know you're moving, and there's actors and actresses and so forth. So, um, yeah, and uh, you know, like everybody, you start off with certain equipment, and you always want bigger, better equipment <laughs> as you go on, and uh, and we're we're reaching those points now. So, and now what what got you guys interested in this Hollywood South Film Festival? Uh, Matt, Matt. Uh, I think a friend of ours, Cindy Maples, who had submitted a film, made a post about the Hollywood South Film Festival, and uh, they were accepting late submissions, and that's where Matt yeah, yeah. extended, and, and so we did that, and we actually caught four submissions really quick, this being one of them, one of them uh, October in Louisville, the Louisville International Films, we're going to be going to that one for this one too, so um, it's a, this is the first time that we've done something on a, on a shorter level, you know, it's like a five minute short film, so it's been really well received, so we're excited. Too, so. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, like I said, the first one was a sci-fi, the second was a horror, and then this time we touched on drama where we wanted to try to 
try to make you think and, and, and touch your heart a little bit with this one. And by doing so, I think that's um, uh, getting us more recognized for, you know, for more different things. Right, uh -huh. for being able to do different things. And uh, if you could touch somebody, make them smile, make them laugh, make them cry. If you can, if you can do those things in a film, then you know you, you, you've really done something, and that's that's what we're trying to do. So. Great. Well, listen. Thank you guys for talking yeah, to us this evening. Best of luck to you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Very appreciate much. you. Thanks uh -huh. for having us. Uh -huh. Appreciate it.